Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, first there was Slurm, and now there's Slurm Lord. Slurm Lord is a 7.7% double New England style IPA from Shorts Brewing Company in Bel Air, Michigan. At this point, I have over 20 beer review videos under my belt, and one of my first videos was for Shorts' first New England style IPA, Slurm. It was also my introduction to the whole New England IPA craze, and I had heard about the style and that Shorts was going to be releasing one soon, so I figured I could just start there. At the time, I didn't really know what I was getting myself into, and while I gave it a good review, looking back, it's probably one of the most underwhelming beers I've, I've had so far. It feels like it almost hits the target, but just falls short, no pun intended. So since I've had Slurm, I've had several other New England style IPAs, which I'm going to have linked up in the corner here. And on my personal list, I would probably rank Slurm right near the bottom, if not the, the very bottom beer that I've had. When I found out that Shorts was releasing essentially a double Slurm called Slurm Lord, I was intrigued. And I'm hoping that this one can kind of redeem their attempts at the whole New England IPA style. I mean, I'm going to fully admit, what I'm looking for in a New England IPA is just the juiciest of the juicy. I want it to be like a beer smoothie. I want it to be sweet, succulent, with just a hint of hoppy bitterness. Not a fruit beer, but a smooth, balanced hoppiness with something that can only uh, really be described as juicy and reminding me of something tropical, like, you know, like tropics or that kind of thing. I want the first thing I taste to be like I bit into this freak hybrid of a navel orange and a pineapple, and it's just exploding in my mouth, <sniffs> followed by subtle hoppiness. Maybe that's not what Shorts is going for with Slurm and Slurm Lord, but that's what I'm looking for. So enough with this whole, I don't know, preamble. Um, I just felt like I needed to say that and get this out, get that out there. And uh, let's just open up Slurm Lord and get drinking. I'm looking for my for my handy dandy bottle opener because I'm back on the bottle train. And this, um, just first real quick, the design is kind of similar to how Shorts Slurm was. Um, it's kind of like a 50s kind of duo tone deal going on here. This one has more of a greaser aesthetic. It's kind of, this guy's kind of spitting up and I'm, I'm hoping it's not because he's sick of Slurm or whatever. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so this is Shorts. It has the Shorts dancing on the cap here. Hopefully you can see that. And uh, yeah, so let's crack it open. And I'm using my Holmes glass again. Uh, I had a chance, I was just at the Summer Beer Fest this past weekend, I went Friday, tried out, stopped at Holmes, had their uh, bourbon barrel aged King Cold Brew, which is like their, it's like a coffee cream ale that they put out. It's top notch. If you go to Holmes and they have uh, King Cold Brew on tap, you got to try it out. So right off the bat, I can smell more of a kind of citrusy, kind of fruity smell coming out of this. I smell kind of the dankness that you get with a with a New England IPA, and I can only really kind of describe dank and in. Uh, I don't know if I can describe it any more charmingly than this, but to say it kind of smells like. Kind of, yeah, I don't know, like you kind of left your clothes in your gym bag for a while. Um, but yeah, I smell a lot of fruit. Smell a little bit of a, a hint of hoppiness, and let's pour. This seems to be a little bit thicker looking than Slurm was. Slurm wasn't, wasn't thin, it was hazy, but it wasn't, uh, I don't know if it was this hazy. It's got a nice head, kind of got some big bubbles on there. But yeah, I smell more of kind of like the dankness, the fruitiness smell of it's kind of gone away. Like I said, I'm looking for juicy, like fruity, orangey pineapple, juicy, just boom, just blowing up in my mouth. Yeah, it smells good so far. So I'm smelling, like I said, a kind of a, the hoppiness kind of comes in stronger than, than it did out of the initial smell out of the bottle. I'm getting fruitiness but definitely getting that dankness, so I'm, I'm looking forward to trying this. Okay, this is, I think, C 
see now this is what I what more of what I was expecting from the initial from just Slurm itself. Slurm Lord, I think it has a little bit more bitterness than Slurm did. It's a little it's it's got that juiciness to it. I can taste I can taste a little hint of the fruit, like a little bit of the kind of orangey citrusy taste to it, but it's really hoppy. And that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing in this case because it kind of differentiates itself from from something being too fruity. Like I said, I think this is what I was kind of expecting from Slurm. This is uh, this is a big improvement in my at least in my opinion over the initial the original Slurm. So at first you get that big strong kind of the fruitiness kind of comes in there. The mouth feels really good. It's it almost has a kind of a consistency in my mouth. It's kind of like an orange juice. Once that kind of sweetness. The sweetness subsides really quickly and you start getting the bitterness right away, but the bitterness is really balanced. It's not, uh, it doesn't sit, it's not really sitting in my mouth like, uh, like a regular IPA would with the hoppy bitterness. Or like what you would think of in a West Coast IPA with the, um, with the pininess. But the aftertaste in this kind of is uh, a bit like, um, it's like when you zest a, zest citrus, like a lemon peel or an orange peel, you kind of get that bitterness from just the zest of the, the you know, the peel. Uh, and I'm kind of getting that out of this, but I, I do like this. I would say this is... This is much a, a huge improvement over Slurm. If you were kind of like me, you weren't really impressed by Slurm. I kind of felt like, I don't know, I kind of felt like Shorts had kind of missed the mark. I mean, I said that earlier. It feels like they were shooting for the target and they just came, fell short. Again, no, you know, <laughs> not trying to be, not trying to be punny, but it just kind of didn't feel like they hit where they wanted to go. So yeah, this is a vast improvement. If I saw. If I saw both of these on the shelf, if I saw Slurm and I saw Slurm Lord right next to each other, I wouldn't buy Slurm again. I would definitely pick this one up. It's different enough from what I was expecting that it actually is kind of surprising that, that I think it's as good as it is. Um, but yeah, I, I do. I like this one a lot better than I like Slurm for sure. So that right there, my friends, is Shorts Slurm Lord. I'd say that it beats Slurm hands down if I had to compare the two. So are any of you out there, um, have any of you had Slurm? How do you rank it? Where does it list in your IPAs? If you've had other New England IPAs, how does it how does it rank against just other New England IPAs that you've tried? What do you like or what do you dislike about it? I'm just curious to kind of start a discussion to see if I'm kind of the one on an island out here. And while you're down there discussing and commenting, why not smash on that like button? And I have to mention this, you know, I said in, I think it was my original uh, Slurm review, I mentioned how people um, people in Michigan point at their hand, and uh, and I'm, I don't know, I think it's kind of corny. I just think of that Sergei Fedorov commercial like back in the 90s when he was like, oh, from here, and he points to like the wrong side of his hand. Um, but I saw a bunch of people at the Michigan Beer Fest this past weekend showing like where their brewery was or where they were from on their hand, and I... I don't know, I just thought it was kind of funny. I figured I'd share it with you guys. Thought maybe you guys think it fun. It was funny too. But um, yeah, anyhow, <laughs> along with liking the video, which you can do down there, why don't you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a beat, you don't miss any of my other reviews, and you can check out links to my social media, my Instagram, uh, my Facebook page, and my blog at drafttherapy.com where I have some uh, written brewery reviews from breweries around mostly in the... Southeast Michigan area. I plan on going to other, uh, going to the west side of the state and kind of writing some reviews of places out there. And all that stuff is free, 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 thanks to viewers like you. All right, friends, that's it. That's all I got on Slurm Lord, which, like I said, this is a big jump in quality over what, what I didn't consider to be a great beer in Slurm. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching this far. And remember, Drink craft beer, support your local breweries like Holmes and Shorts, 
And uh, until next time, treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.